Hey there, it's Dan Liu. In this video, I want to share how to add box shadows to your buttons inside of ClickFunnels. So in the previous video, I shared how to add a gradient to your buttons instead of having your traditional uh, one color button. So that way it adds a little bit of more of a pop to your buttons. It really draws the eyes uh, to what you want your visitor to do once they hit your web page or your funnel. So generally, most buttons are uh, don't have a box shadow, so it looks pretty flat. And when you add a box shadow, it really brings out and adds some depth to the button. So once again, giving it some more dimension and really making it stand out on your web page. So you can see there's a box shadow here for this image. And what you can do is go to a site like cssmatic.com slash box dash shadow and here you can play with uh, the different settings here to affect or change the effects of a box shadow and then once you have it to a point where uh, you think it's good you can simply copy the css code here and then apply it to your funnel page or your web page so generally i like to um, make the blur radius a little bit bigger and then kind of decrease the spread here. So each of these numbers in this uh, CSS code corresponds to these different settings. So the first number, seven uh, pixels, corresponds with the horizontal setting. So you can see what happens when you move it. The next number is gonna be your vertical. Then you have your blur radius. And it's really a matter of kind of playing with these numbers and or these settings and seeing how it affects the overall shadow and uh, really kind of just putting it to a point that you feel comfortable or that you like it. So, you know, a box shadow that you might put around a button might be different than one you put around, let's say, an image or a section. So let's say you even want to change the color here. You can certainly uh, change the color of your shadow as well. Right, so depending on, let's say, the color of your button, you might want to uh, make it similar. But in this case, we're just going to keep it as black. And you can change the background color. So if your funnel page has a different background, you can uh, set it so that you can see what's going to actually look like once you apply the box shadow. And then you also have the opacity. So you can change basically the transparency of the shadow. Right, so lots of different options that you can do here. Um, so let's just say I want to make it simple numbers. We'll do 50 and we'll do negative five. All right, we'll change the opacity up to uh, what it was originally, which was 75. Okay, actually let's blur this a little bit more to 60. Let's make this negative 10. Actually, let's go down to 50 again. All right, so let's say we're satisfied with this uh, just to start with. So typically, I just grab the first or this last uh, line of code here. So I'm going to control C and copy that. I'm going to go into the settings of the page, go to custom CSS. Now, in the previous video, we added this piece of code here to add the gradient to the button. So what I want to do now is right after the semicolon, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to control V to paste it. And then I want to make sure that it has the semicolon again. All right, so let's see what that looks like. I'm going to X out. So you can see there's a slight shadow here. Now, it's not as apparent because there's also this shadow, but you can see that there is more of a depth to it, right? It looks as if the button itself is separate from the background, right? So if you go to a generic ClickFunnels page, you typically don't have this feature built in. So adding this just really uh, improves the overall design. And once again, makes your funnels or your buttons in your funnel stand out a bit more and really uh, draws the eyes there. All right, so you can see here what it looks like. So if I deleted it, let's see what it looks like without it. All right, so just a little bit more flat. Let's add it back in. Oops, let's go to CSS code. 
Let's add that back in. And you can change this right from here. So if you wanted to change this to 10, you can do so and uh, make your tweaks on the fly. So whatever you grab from here is completely editable. This just allows you to easily uh, kind of mock up the shadow you want and then grab the code, but you can definitely change it right here inside the uh, CSS code window. All right, so I hope that helps you in your design for your funnels. Again, it's really to draw the eyes and the attention to the buttons and really make them stand out from the rest of the page because ultimately that's the uh, action that you want your visitor to take. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.